Hi everyone, this is Daniel from Blank Canvas Makeup. Thank you for joining me for today's video, which is, if you're a Trini, you know exactly what this is. This is Carnival Makeup. It's bright, it's colorful, and it's in your face, and pretty much that is what Carnival is all about, being in your face, being bright and colorful and loud, and just having fun ex with your makeup. Um, so I did this very colorful look today, and um, it's rainbow inspired. So I used um, all the rainbow colors and I kept the lips and the cheeks bright as well so you can see how everything, you know, just is all about carnival and back now and just keeping it bright and sassy. Of course, in the video, I'm going to go through and show you all the colors that I use. Of course, if you do not have all the colors at your disposal, please feel free to improvise for anything that you don't have at your disposal. So, I mean... And it's just the the products that I have is just to give you an idea of what it is you can use yourself, but you don't have to use the exact same things. You use whatever it is you have, you change your colors as you see fit, and you just do you do your own thing. Um, because I just did my own thing, so you do your own thing. So I hope you like the look and keep watching. Okay, so I start off with a clean and moisturized face, and now I'm going to prime my eyes with this. Um, reunion eye cream from Whip Hand, which is pretty much an eye base to cause my eyeshadow colors to stick and be more vibrant because vibrancy is the key here. Using this pigment from Whip Hand, it's called Beep. Um, it is the best yellow pigment I have ever seen or used in my entire life. And I'm going to put this on with a flat brush on the first half, the inner half of my mobile eyelid. You're going to get a little follow because it's a pigment, but you just keep patting and pressing and you can always clean it up after. For the orange, I'm going to use my Sleek by Tree in Pumpkin. And I'm going to overlap this with the yellow. And overlap with the yellow and put it against the bare lid as well so that you get more of um, a gradient transition between the two colors. And that is the key to blending colors overlapping. Now another blush by Tree in Flame, um, set from Sleek, and I'm using the red color here for the outer corner of the mobile eyelid so that you get the gradient from yellow to orange to red. For above the crease, I'm going to put this Blue Calm color from MAC, and I'm going to put this on. I'm going to place it on actually first with this rounded tip brush because I can't blend as yet because it's just going to stick straight on to where I have primed my eyes. So I need to place it first and then I'm going to blend it out with a blending brush. And this is a MAC 217 brush, but there are many, many others on the market. Something with a fluffy head that's going to buff out the edges. I used initially this Vibrant Grape color from MAC to put in the crease with the wrong tip brush, but it was not doing exactly what it is I wanted it to do. So um, I changed to the Perfect Wendy 2 blush from Sasha and I just placed this over where I initially put the Vibrant Grape and this is just true decrease so that there will be a blend from the purple to the blue. On the blending brush I put a little more blue just to put a little more color back into it. And then to blend the edges from the blue to my brow, I used this blot powder from MAC, which is matte. And wouldn't add any kind of color to the brow, just to blend everything out. For my eyes, I like to line with black. And this is a black jade eyeliner from Black Opal. If your eyes are smaller, use a fleshed cone color. And I'm going to just base my bottom lash line with this color from Jordana so that the eyeshadow that I'm going to use after which is steamy here from MAC will be more vibrant. So I'm going to put down this color because it's the only greenish color I used for the rainbow inspired eyes and I'm putting this right over the white base 
And then I'm just going to add some accent colors here from these Nikkei Shimmer Eyeliner that I have. Um, lots of colors and just putting on accents as I see fit. Meet me on the road. Now I'm going to add some blush and this is also from Sasha. This is Indian Rose. I'm going to blend that out. I placed first and then blended that out with a fluffy blending brush for my cheeks. And everything will get blended after because I haven't powdered my face as yet. From Sasha Perfect Wendy Lipstick. I'm going to put this down first. Straight from the bullet. And then as my gloss, I'm going to use African Queen Lip Gloss from NYX or NYX and this is lovely purple with a blue overlay on it. So I'm going to put this in the center of the lips and finish off everything. Hope you like it.